Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with game two of my 2001 World Series replay between the New York Yankees and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now, um, if you haven't seen game one, I recommend you go back and watch game one. But um, we are doing this World Series because the uh, last time that the Diamondbacks were in the World Series was 2001. In fact, it was, I believe, the only other time that they were in the World Series was 2001. And uh, currently, they are in a World Series playing against the Texas Rangers. So I am going day by day, um, lined up with... Uh, putting up a game of the 2001 World Series replay the day after a World Series game is played in 2023 between Texas and Arizona. Now, uh, we're in game two, as I mentioned. Um, if you uh, know about the 2001 World Series, you know that game two was won by the Arizona Diamondbacks, as was game one. They won both of the first two games. In game two, they won four nothing originally. The pitching matchup today will be Randy Johnson, the big unit for the homestanding Arizona Diamondbacks. And for the New York Yankees, it will be Andy Pettit, left-hander Andy Pettit. Uh, we'll go over the lineups as the teams come up. And the first team to bat is going to be the visiting Yankees. So... Uh, the Yankees lineup today is going to be that they're going to send up against the big unit is going to be Chuck Knobloch in left field, Randy Velarde at first base, Derek Jeter, the captain at shortstop, Bernie Williams in center field, Jorge Posada, switch hitter at catcher, Shane Spencer will be the right fielder to start things off. The number seven hitter is Alfonso Soriano. Number eight batter is Scott Brocious, and he's playing third base for the Yankees. And Andy Pettit, as I mentioned, will be batting ninth and pitching today. So with all of that out of the way, let's get underway with the game. Chuck Knobloch, and he gets a 5-5 right-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. And Johnson gets his first strikeout of what you could expect might be many for the game. Randy Velarde is up. He gets a 2-7. And 2-7 is going to be a strikeout. The first two guys are struck out by the big unit, and it's two down quickly for the Yankees here in the first. And Derek Jeter is the batter, and he gets a 1-4. And uh, that is going to be a home run. Derek Jeter takes the big unit deep. Johnson gives up the hit. The run, the earned run, the home run, the whole run. <laughs> and Bernie Williams is up. And he gets a 3-7. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. to three. And uh, the Yankees got a run. It looked like they were going to get nothing. It looked like they were just going to flail at pitches and uh, get no runs, but they did get a run on a Derek Jeter home run in the top of the first. So now we're in the bottom of the first, and the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks will line up as Tony Womack at short, Craig Council playing second base and batting second, Luis Gonzalez, the third hitter, and, batting, uh, and playing left field. Adding in the cleanup spot, as last game, will be Reggie Sanders, the right fielder. Danny Bautista is playing center field in this particular game and batting fifth. Matt Williams will bat sixth and play third. Mark Grace is the first baseman, batting seventh. Damian Miller is batting eighth, and he's playing catcher. And 
Randy Johnson will be the ninth place hitter. Tony Womack is up. He gets a 4-7 left-handed batter on a left-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a single. So Womack gets a leadoff hit against um, Pettit. He's going to try to steal second base. He does make it easily with a 4. That's his second steal of the series. He stole a game in the first, uh, or he stole a base in the first game. And Craig Council is up. Craig Council gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. Pettit with the K, one out, man at second. Luis Gonzalez gets a 2-2. Two -two. And that's going to be a fly ball to left field. Two down. And Reggie Sanders up. And he gets a 6-6 six, six right-handed batter. And that is going to be a single double asterisk and score the runner from second, Womack. So each the team's uh, trade runs... And Danny Bautista is the batter, the center fielder today. He gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a single double asterisk. So now all of a sudden, they're just, uh, Pettit's falling apart all of a sudden. That's the third hit he's allowed, and Matt Williams is the batter with runners at the corners and two down. And he gets a 5-11. And 5'11 is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. That is Tino Martin. Or no, no, it's not. Who is that? It's uh, Randy Velarde, even worse. He is a 4E25. And we're going to re-roll this because it's kind of off to the side. That is a 13. Uh, 13, that's, so he's, uh, what is that, a 13, he's a, a 4E25, so we're going to have to roll on the error rating. And that's a 7. And that's going to be an E1, that's an E1 and it allows a run to score, so, um, Matt Williams reaches on an error on the first baseman, Velarde. And uh, Sanders scores. And Bautista goes down to second. And that is a run allowed by Pettit, but not an earned run. And... Uh, now the batter is Mark Grace, and Mark Grace gets a 5-9. And 5-9 is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So he goes out 4-3. to three, But the Diamondbacks take the lead. They scored two in the, uh, sec in the uh, first inning. And we go to the top of the second in a 2-1 to one game. The Yankees are now losing and have Jorge Posada up. Uh, he gets a 2-8. And that's going to be a strikeout. Johnson strikes out his third guy of the game. Shane Spencer gets a 311, and 311 is going to be an out. Two away. So he gets a, uh, let's see. That's going to be a, uh, a line out to the second baseman. And Alfonso Soriano is up. And he gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a fly ball to center. Soriano flies out to the center fielder. The Yankees go down quickly in the second. No run score. And here come the Diamondbacks with Damian Miller, the catcher. And he gets a 2-5, and that's a walk. So Damian Miller works a walk. 
to lead off the second. Pettit with the uh, issuing the walk. They're going to sacrifice with Johnson up. That is a nine, so let's see what happens on that. And uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, the batter is thrown out and the runners advance, one away. The third baseman made the play. And that brings up Womack with a man at second and um, one out. And he gets a 3-3, and that's going to be a pop-out to shortstop. Two down and a uh, man at second and up steps Council and he gets a 4-5. And 4-5 is going to be a ground ball second base. So he is thrown out by the second baseman. And despite a little bit of a, uh, of a challenge there to the Yankees, they don't, the Diamondbacks don't score. And we go to the um, top of the third. Got to keep up with that. Top of the third, Brocious is up. He gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. I think Johnson starts every inning with a strikeout. He's just got to do it. Fourth strikeout for Johnson on the day. Pettit is up. He gets a 4-5, and that is going to be... That's going to be a double. <laughs> Pettit rips a double. So Pettit is aboard at second base, but uh, but there is an out. Knoblock is the batter. He gets a 3-7. Three, 3-7 seven. Three, seven is a fly ball to center field, two away. And Velarde is up. The first baseman, he gets a 110, and that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he's out 1-3. to three. The Yankees get a little bit of a threat going, but again, they don't uh, capitalize on it, and no runs come in. Luis Gonzalez is up. And he gets a 4-9. He had a home run in the first game. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. Reggie Sanders is up. He gets a 6-3. 6-3 is going to be a single. That is the... I've got the fourth hit given up by Pettit. Bautista is up. He gets a 2-4. And that is going to be a home run. Danny Bautista hits a two-run homer. That extends the Diamondbacks' lead. Pettit gives up his fifth hit and the fourth run of the game. Only three earned. And Matt Williams comes up. He gets a 3-9, and that is going to be a double. So now they're just, they're just dragging Pettit all over the field. <laughs> Mark Grace comes up. He gets a 3-11. And 3-11 is going to be a single. Runner has to only go one, can only go one base. So uh, Williams is at third. Pettit giving up the hit. Runners are at the corners with one down and Damian Miller, the batter. He gets a 5-5. Five, five. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Jeter. Jeter is a, is a uh, 2E17. That is a 5. So we'll see what happens there. 
That's going to be a ground ball C. So a run comes in um, and a runner goes down to second because the infield was not in. So um, and then that brings up the pitcher, Randy Johnson, with two down now. And he gets a 1-8, and that's a strikeout. Second strikeout for Pettit on the game, but uh, three runs came in for the Diamondbacks, and they have a 5-1 to one lead here in the top of the fourth. And Derek Jeter is up against Randy Johnson. He gets a 6-4. And that is going to be a fly to center. Bautista is a um, 3E4. And that's a 3. And that's going to be a single. So Jeter starts off with a sing, starts the Yankees out with a single off of Johnson. Nobody out. And. Bernie Williams is the batter. He gets a 1-7, and that's going to be a um, fly ball center field B. One out. Jorge Posada is the batter. He gets a 3-6, and that's going to be a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corners. Jeter goes over to third. Johnson gives up his fourth hit. There's one out and runners at the corners with Shane Spencer as the batter. 2-7 is going to be a ground ball, shortstop, double play. The old 6-4-3 and no runs come in for the Yankees in the fourth. They looked like they were mounting something, but they couldn't do it. We're in the bottom of the fourth, and Pettit is going to be taken out of the game. That is going to be it for Pettit. They knock him out. So he only goes, uh, let's see, he only pitched three innings. And the Yankees will bring in Ted Lilly. Ted Lilly in 2001 was 5 and 6 with a 5.37 earned run average in 121 innings and he served as both a starter and reliever. He is also a lefty like um Pettit was. And Tony Womack were back at the top of the order for the uh for the Diamondbacks. And he gets a 2-3 and he is hit by pitch. So Womack gets uh, greeted with a hit by pitch by um, by Lilly, and Craig Council is up, and Craig Council gets a five eleven, and uh, let's see, that is going to be a fly ball left field. So there's one out, one out, man at first. Luis Gonzalez gets 3-8, and that is going to be a hit by pitch. So Lilly has hit two guys in this game so far in, in one inning of work. And um, Reggie Sanders is the batter. And he gets a 2-11, which is going to be a hit by pitch. It's incredible. <laughs> hit by Lilly has hit. Three batters, and those are the three batters that are on base with only one out. And Danny Bautista is the batter. And he gets a 6-10. And 6-10 is going to be a... That's going to be a single. That's a ballpark single, so a run comes in.
and uh, Lily gives up a hit and uh, and a run and an earned run. Yankees playing for the double play. They really need the double play. Uh, three eight for Williams. Three eight for Williams is a home run. Get out of here. <laughs> so Williams hits a home run. This is this is the run total that the um, Diamondbacks got in real life in Game One. So that's going to be three, four, five runs this inning. And nobody on base now because Williams cleared them. And Mark Grace is the batter, and he gets a 310. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Six to three, that's the second out of the inning. And Damian Miller gets a 5-9. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a two, that's a ten. That's going to be on the card. He's a seven, E17, eight. And that is going to be a ground ball. So Damian Miller goes out six to three. But. The Diamondbacks get five more runs in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth with the Diamondbacks winning handily here, 10 to 1. And like I say, that was the their it, that was similar to their real life game one. Alfonso Soriano is the batter. Uh, he gets a 6-9. Um, so let's see. 6-9. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop um, and their shortstop is a 3 E32 that is a 3 3 and 3 at shortstop let's see what that is that's going to be a single so Soriano leads off with a base hit of course really the Yankees need a whole ton of runs off the big unit and I don't see that happening but um, Scott Brocious is the batter, and he'll get a 2-7, which is going to be a walk. So now the Yankees have two guys on. Oh, wait. wait a minute. I've got to move it over here. Johnson walks his first batter of the game, and that brings up the pitcher spot, which is Lily, and they will pinch hit for Lily. Well, they need base runners. They're going to pinch hit Nick Johnson. He gets a 6-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Johnson strikes out his fifth guy, and that's the first out of the inning. Chuck Knobloch back to the top of the order, gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a fly ball to center. And Randy Velarde is up. And he gets a 211, and 211 is going to be a an out. It's going to be a fly ball to left field. No runs come in for the Yankees in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Randy Johnson is the leadoff hitter. Of course, they're going to let him stay in. 
six nine is going I, oh it's a different picture though not lily They are going to bring in Ramiro Mendoza. Um, he was eight and four in uh, 2001, and he pitched 101 innings. He was a starter reliever, and he's going to come in and uh, pitch. That was a six nine, um, and six nine is going to be a. Um, Well, it's uh, it's going to be a single double asterisk. Well, a single. Uh, it was a home run, but it's an end home run, and that's Randy Johnson, and he does not have power. So he's going to hit a single. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Tony Womack is up. He gets a 2-7, and 2-7 is going to be a... Line out to second base. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's a righty. This guy's a righty, so it's a single double asterisk. Hmm. So Johnson goes all the way over to third. Womack is at uh, first, and the Diamondbacks just continue their onslaught here. Craig Council gets a 6-9, and 6-9 is going to be a... Uh, that's going to be a double and a run scores. And uh, Womack goes over to third. There's still nobody out that I know of. <laughs> um, no, there isn't. Gonzalez is up. He gets a 3-5. 3-5 is going to be a single, or wait a minute, no, it's going to be, it's actually going to be a double. It's going to be worse than that. It's going to be a double and knock in two runs. And so, th and this is, this whole time has been Mendoza, and he's been getting his ass handed to him. He gives up, uh, let's see, what, one, two, three, one, two two, three, one, two, three. Um, four, so yeah. Uh, Reggie Sanders is up. Still nobody out. Five, six, and... Um, that's going to be a ground ball shortstop A. So there's one out. Danny Bautista is up. He gets a 1-8. And that's going to be a single, which is a one base single. So... Um, yeah, this is just, this is the hit parade from hell for the Yankees. Matt Williams comes up. He gets a 5-10. And 5-10 is going to be a, that's going to be a single. One base single again, but it knocks in another run. Tory's got to be uh, ripping his hair out of his head right now, what little he has left. Mark Grace comes up. He gets a 5-5. Five, five, and that's going to be a ground ball, second base A. That's a double play. And so, finally, mercifully, this comes to an end. But not before the Diamondbacks get four more runs and now have a 9 12, 14 to 1 lead. And Derek Jeter is the batter. He gets a 4 4. And that's going to be a catcher card X. 
The catcher for the Diamondbacks is Damian uh, Johnson, or da what is his name? Damian Miller. He's a 2E1. That is a 17. Probably going to be an out. And it is a foul out. And Bernie Williams is the batter. He gets 3-8. That's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman, two away. And Posada is up. And he gets a 1-3, and uh, that's going to be a walk. I think that's only the second walk Johnson has issued. Yes, it is. And Shane Spencer is up. He gets a 2-6. And that is going to be a single. The Yankees again get this little mini uh, threat going, but it, you know, how threatening can it be down uh, down 14 to 1? Or, yeah, 14 to 1. Alfonso Soriano gets a 4-4. Four, four. And uh, that's going to be a catcher card X. And he is a 3. That is a 16. I think that's an out. I think I saw that that was an out too. And it is. So he pops out to 2. And that is it for the Yankees in the 6th. They get no runs. And we go to the bottom of the sixth with not Damian Miller, because I think he was... No, no, he is up. All right. According to, the, according to what I've got, Damian Miller is the batter. So um, he's up. He gets a 4-10... And 410 is going to be a ground ball third base, one away. That brings up Johnson, Randy Johnson, the pitcher. He gets a 211. That's going to be a ground ball second base A. And Tony Womack is up. Tony Womack this game has, uh, he's been hit by a pitch and he's got two hits. He gets a 211, and that's going to be a single, and he has been on base every single time. Craig Council is up, and he gets a 5-5, five, five, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. 4-3, to three. that's the inning. No runs come in for the Diamondbacks. We go to the top of the seventh. Scott Brocious, Scotty Brocious is up. He gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. Now, uh, Mendoza, Ramiro Mendoza's up. They're just going to let him bat. They're going to let him try to get through this through the game or at least another inning or so so that they don't burn through the bullpen because they don't see the point trying to come back from 13 down against the big unit. 3-7 uh, is going to be a ground ball second base. So he's out. And... Uh, and, and the Yankees had, you know, I mean, they just got to make that assessment. Knobloch is up, and he gets a 3-8, and that is going to be a strikeout. I mean, nobody's really getting on here for the Yankees at all. So, um, So where where are we? Is this uh yeah, this was the Yankees that were batting, okay. So that was the seventh. So this is the bottom of the side. I got the bottom of the seventh. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. All these I got the score sheets and everything, and I can't keep track of this. But the game is so out of reach that it really doesn't matter. It's not like, you know, if the Diamondbacks end up winning that they weren't gonna win otherwise. Um, 
we're in the bottom of the seventh with Gonzalez. I've got Gonzalez up bottom of the seventh. No outs. Ramiro Mendoza is still out there, 5-8. And he gets a fly ball center. Yeah. Reggie Sanders is up. He gets a 4-10. Uh, let's see. That's going to be a ground ball third base. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. And Bautista's up. Yeah, part of the problem is I keep recording things in the wrong, on the wrong uh, team score sheet. 4-7. And 4-7 is going to be a walk. So Bautista, oh, wait a minute. No, 4-7 is a strikeout. Now I'm looking at the wrong pitcher. I'm all kinds of screwed up here. Uh, but again, I know that the Diamondbacks got enough runs that there's no way they're, they're coming back. So we're going to the top of the eighth. I've got the top of the eighth here. And, um, and Velarde, the batter. And they're going to take Johnson out. Now they will take Johnson out of the game. I mean, there's no point in keeping him out there. And they're going to bring in Mike Morgan, who pitched 38 innings in 2001 and had a 426 earned run average. And he's a righty. So Velarde batting against him. He gets a 310, and that's going to be a hit by pitch. A lot of guys getting hit by pitch today. Derek Jeter is up. He gets a 411, and 411 is going to be a fly ball to right field. One away. Seventh inning. No, this is the eighth. What am I? God. Yeah, I got this as the eighth. Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams gets a 4 3. And um, let's see. He would be batting. Uh, left, and that's going to be a fly ball to right, the right fielder for the uh, for the Diamondbacks is a 3-E-1, that's a 9, so it's going to be an E-1, probably will be an out, 6 is going to be a fly ball B. And Posada is up. And he gets a 3 5, which is a single double asterisk. And Spencer gets a 2 10, which is going to be a hit by pitch, which loads the bases for the egg. Alfonso Soriano is up. He gets a 6-10. And that is going to be a single and not going to run. I love how the Yankees are keeping this going, even though there's really no point to doing that. <laughs> Scott Brocious is the batter. He gets a 6-6. That's going to be a double and score two runs.
and they're gonna pinch hit for the pitcher. I mean, they might as well, but, you know. David Justice, who played in the first game, will be the pinch hitter. With, again, I think, what is there? Only, there's two outs? There is two outs. And he gets a 111, and that is going to be a ground ball, first base B. So, no more runs come in, but three do in what I've got is now the eighth. And now watch, somebody out there is going to be a Yankees fan and say, the Yankees would have come back and won that game if you hadn't messed up and been an inning ahead, which I don't know that I am, but uh, if I am, I am. Mistakes happen. Human error. Uh, Matt Williams will be the batter here in the bottom of the eighth. And Ramiro Mendoza is out of the game because he was pinch hit for and they will put in and they don't want to put in anybody that's good. They'll put in Mark Wohlers. Mark Wohlers in 2001 had pitched 68 innings, had a 426 earned run average. And he's a righty. And Matt Williams is going to bat against him. He gets a 410 righty. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop. He is a 2. That is a 16. 16 and 2. Hopefully he just makes the play. He does. There's one away. Williams is out. Which brings up Mark Grace. And he gets a 2-8. And that is going to be a... Uh, that's going to be a ground ball short. So he, he bounces out to shortstop as well. And Damian Miller is the batter. And he gets a 5-6, and that's going to be a um, ground ball shortstop A. Or wait a minute. Nope, that's going to be a walk. That is going to be a walk. And the pitcher is up, and that's Mike Morgan. I'll let him hit. 3-7 is a ground ball, second base, so he's out. And uh, the Yankee, or the uh, Diamondbacks get no runs in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. So the Yankees are here in the top of the ninth and down by the score of, let's see, 9-12, uh, 14-4. So they need 10 runs right here off of Mike Morgan. I don't know that that's possible, even as bad as Morgan is, but we'll see. Knobloch gets a 1-4. That's going to be a ground ball shortstop. Randy Velarde is up. He gets a 1-3. That's going to be a ground ball second. He gets out 4-3. to three. First two outs very quickly for Morgan here. Derek Jeter gets a 4-5. And 4-5 is going to be a strikeout. So Morgan seals it up for them. They get no runs. The uh, Diamondbacks didn't have to bat. And your final score here is Diamondbacks 14, Yankees 4. In Game 2 of the 2001 World Series.